Hello everyone and welcome to our daily mana. If you have your Bibles today, let's open it in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. May the good Lord bless us upon the reading of His word. To help you understand the concept of saved and sure, here are the three truths that first, God wants everyone to be saved, to have eternal life. He calls all men and women to himself, but there must be a response to his invitation. When we answer his call to salvation, the Father God makes us part of his everlasting family. In the Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 12, it says, But as many as receive him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. Also in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 13, the word of the Lord says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all abounding in riches for all who call on Him. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. If we decide to reject the Lord, however, then we will eternally remain outside of the redemption plan for mankind. Second, God wants everyone to be saved by God's grace through faith. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8-9, to For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no man may boast, or so that no one may boast. This passage declares that our salvation is 100% the work of the Lord. It is His plan, His work, His gift. We have no responsibility whatsoever other than simply receiving the free gift that He lays at our feet. Third, God wants everyone to be saved by grace through faith and be sure if our salvation. Lack of certainty can absolutely destroy faith. If you are not sure that you are saved, then the devil will use that seed of doubt to plague your spirit every time you feel you have done something unforgivable. In the Lord's eyes, though there is no such thing as unforgivable, He has already established the plan by which everyone, us, can join His eternal family and He wants us to have confidence in our salvation. Passages like John 3.16, for, for God says, God so loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. Also in 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, These things I have written to you, who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Also in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 to 14, In Him you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in Him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who has, who has given us a pledge of our inheritance with a view of the, to the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of His glory. All these passages point to the complete certainty with which we can embrace our salvation. Don't let your faith fluctuate with your feelings and circumstances. Anchor it firmly in the truth of the Scripture. 1 John chapter 4, verses 9-10 to 10 says, By this the love of God was manifested in us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through Him. In this is love, in this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Let's pray. Father, we do give you thanks that you are the God who gives us the gift of faith so that we can receive and rest upon Christ alone as he's offered in the gospel for our salvation. We pray, Lord, that in the moments and times of our lives where we are not looking in the right direction, that you would, by your Spirit, redirect our faith towards you towards the objects that the bible holds us for us 
and not toward worthless things. We pray, Lord, that we will do due diligence by your Spirit and dig down deep into your Word to find nourishment for our soul and to build up the foundation of our faith. We ask all of this in Christ's name. Amen and amen. Be assured that you can have salvation, eternal life, only through faith in Jesus Christ. There is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Open your heart to Him. Invite Him to be your Savior and Lord now and be saved. God bless everyone.